That was set back in 1999. And the athlete to watch here, LJ Funsale, Louis Funsale, the defending champion. He won last year running 51.45. He has run 51.18 this year. There he is, perfectly built for a 400 meter hurdler. Tall, long legs, long stride. The shoulders will get bigger, he'll fill out a bit as he gets older. But I reckon this could be a Llewellyn Herbert of the future. Running in the colors of Free State. The hurdles just a notch or so below those for the, uh, the height of the senior men. And according to the rankings this year, Fonsal is almost two seconds faster than the second athlete in this final. Kurt Kuto goes in lane six. He's wearing the colors of Mpumalanga. So keep your eyes on LJ Fonsal going in lane four. He's going well at the moment, running 15 strides, so he's hurdling on the same leg. Just dropping his stride a bit. In fact, there he went to 14 strides, so he cut a stride out there between the second and the third. Now he's alternating well, and that's a real skill for 400 meter hurdlers. They have to learn early how to alternate on their strides. It's like uh, kicking a football or a rugby ball with your left and your right foot. It's that sort of coordination that's required. Look at Funsal now really getting into his running, and he's full of running, isn't he? Just like Llewellyn Herbert, coming into his best in the second half of the race. And he's really sprinting now, isn't he? Look at this performance. Meets that final hurdle perfectly. Sprinting away from it. Keep your eyes on the clock. 50.31. A lifetime best there for LJ Funsal. And I reckon Karen, he runs within himself in the first half. There's much more to come. That was like watching Llewellyn Herbert when he first started out in 1997. Yeah,